Kalang area will soon be developed into an integrated sports destination with infrastructure like a velodrome and even a hotel. It was among 15 recommendations to boost the sports industry here as part of a project. <laughs> Excuse me. Carl. I'll carry on, Dawn. Uh, it's called <coughs> 2030. Ahmad Khan has more. The Singapore Sports Hub is one of the main attractions in Kalang, but Sport SG plans to give the area a makeover as part of Refinements to Vision 2030, which is described as a blueprint to enrich Singaporeans' life through sport. There is a need for us to review because there are ideas evolving because our environment is changing. And moving forward, really, uh, we, you know, the, uh, the plan that we have is really how do we uh, bring in more partners, you know, work with different partners to create deeper and bigger impact. And here's a look at how the area could change. The car park area next to Kalang Leisure Park used to be a lot bigger. Now if you can see behind me, part of the car park area is already blocked off. It will house the Singapore Tennis Centre with hopes that it will help develop the local tennis scene. Other facilities include a football hub, a community space along Geylang River, and a proposed youth hub for sports like speed climbing and parkour. There are also plans for a velodrome which could serve as the national training centre for track cycling. While the old Kalang Theatre could become an integrated entertainment centre that can host esports events and house a medical centre and hotel. They'll be able to go train in the morning, use the gym in the afternoon, use the medical centre in the evening, but also be able to, to go to and from a hotel facility. And it also means, of course, that when we host events like the recent ICC and there are tourists coming into town, they'll also have the option of staying right where the action is. Mr. Walton says the entire development will likely involve public-private partnerships, which is a model that was used with the Singapore Sports Hub. It's all about picking the right partner and then making sure that they are correctly motivated and compensated and that the various contracts, clauses, relationships that you have in place enable for both parties to have the same expectations and ultimately to share in the benefits. The other 14 recommendations are focused on areas ranging from harnessing technology in sports to fostering a more inclusive sporting sector.